2014 National Championship banner proudly hangs from the Mesa Rink rafters, and fans are eager to know how long until the Skating Dutchmen are once again considered among the nation's elite. Well, if this result is any indication, they already are. Union hosted Boston University on Saturday. The Terriers were the number three team in the country, but they were down by the Dutchman 5-3, to three, and the win just happened to be the 100th career win for Union coach Rick Bennett. Now in his fifth season at the Hound, Bennett owns a 22-4 postseason record, and with Saturday's upset of Boston, new hopes of another postseason run are once again high. And Union head coach Rick Bennett joins us now in studio. Thanks for being here, coach. Thank you, Kelly. Solid weekend to open the season, the draw against Sacred Heart. Then you knock off the number three team in the country in Boston University. Not only do you get a win over a top five team, but your 100th career win. Is that an opportunity for you to celebrate even a little bit, or is there no celebrating in October in hockey? As I said to a few people, I think I went home and had a, you know, a nice big bowl of cereal, so that was about it. <laughs> was it. Uh, but it's, it was really nice in the fact that the players mm -hmm. that have had a chance to work with in the past, mm -hmm. um, Joe, you know, Joe Dume and Jason Tapp, mm -hmm. who have been a huge, uh, you know, you know, part of this. That was the best, you know, part of the whole victory. When you've got a new season, even when you've got returning players, I know every season's a little bit different. When you evaluate this team at the onset, now that you've had a chance to see them compete in a couple of games, how do you look at this team as far as strengths, weaknesses, that sort of thing? You know, as far as the strengths, we definitely as a team that is a little bit different makeup than mm -hmm. last year. This team uh, seems that, you know, just judging on practices, has a little more of a, a will to it mm -hmm. and the fact that uh, just coming out flat in both games I thought they re, you know rebounded well mm -hmm. after about the 10 minute mark and really proved that uh, you know they can play with anybody mm -hmm. just in the fact of skating and physicality so mm -hmm. it's kind of an all-around team it's mm -hmm. just going to take a little bit to gel with. I know that the expectation now after a national championship is that every year to be in the tournament, every year be competing for a national championship. With that being said, and not putting too much stock in a preseason polls, when you're picked middle of the pack in the ECAC, do you think there's something to prove and, and getting a win over Boston University might do that? Yeah, we, we, I mean, we address a team about the preseason stuff, mm -hmm. as, as mm -hmm. we call it, stuff. Yeah. So it was it was a quick meeting, mm -hmm. and we moved on. Mm -hmm. And the, re the reason uh, it was quick was the fact that we wanted to move on. And yeah. that's exactly what they did. They showed that this weekend, um, and you know I just think we have to build on what we did Saturday night and even mm -hmm. Friday night. I think Friday night kind of built into Saturday night just by the way we finished. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing video of the, the national championship over Minnesota. Uh, when you think back on that night, is there one moment that comes into your mind right away, whether it was during the game or right after the game? I, I you know, just I guess Matt Bodie coming over, mm -hmm. you know, big hug. But I, I felt after. The group hug with the you know the staff was mm -hmm. was phenomenal, yeah. and it's just something I'll never forget. What has that done for the program? Now here we are, a couple of seasons removed from it. Uh, just the fact, I guess we're sitting here talking yeah. about it. It's just one of those. It always comes up. I don't feel mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. know a school like Union. I think it's a terrific story. Mm -hmm. You know, there's just a history behind you know the program of of mm -hmm. hockey there, and it's just to me it was it's just one of those things that's just going to live on, almost like a Hoosiers type of story. Can it live on in the sense of helping recruiting? Can you go into a living room now? Can you five years from now and talk about that and, and what that has meant to this program? I guess in today's day with computers and, and, and social media, mm -hmm. we don't have to talk about it mm -hmm. because the families and the players bring it up to us. Really? So it's pretty, you know, it's kind of it's kind of exciting and it's very humbling in that fact. Mm -hmm. Has there been any more pressure put on you, put on the program now that you've been there, now that you've accomplished that? I, I, I can tell you this. I work... Um, you know, I always say I work for, but it always starts at the, you know, at the top with our mm -hmm. president, uh, President Ainley, mm -hmm. and then, you know, filters down to Jim McLaughlin, our athletic director, mm -hmm. and they've never once applied any pressure whatsoever, mm -hmm. and it, it means a lot to, you know, to myself and a lot to our staff. Then last year, you watched your alma mater win a national championship. You played at Providence. You were an assistant coach there for a while, and your friend Nate Lehman, who you coached under at Union, mm -hmm. is now the head coach there. What was that like for you? It was really, you know, here comes that word again, surreal. Yeah. But it was really uh, interesting in the fact that you got to, you know, we just sat back as a fan mm -hmm. and watched uh, and see how Nate kind of orchestrated that whole, you know, win and, you know, how it all went down was pretty wild. And it was, mm -hmm. uh, it was just kind of fun to watch as a fan. Mm -hmm. Do you talk to Nate periodically? Oh, yeah, definitely. We mm -hmm. see, you know, I think we were together about three weeks ago just mm -hmm. uh, out recruiting, and mm -hmm. the next thing you know, we're joking around, and mm -hmm. sometimes we're not even watching the game. So <laughs> I, guess, I guess sometimes we go recruit and we've got to pay attention a yeah. little bit more. <laughs>
thinking back to your playing days at Providence, what type of player were you? Oh, geez. Uh, I, I wouldn't ask the main fans because uh, there were a few signs back in the days. So <laughs> I guess we're we'll, going to have to keep this G-rated. But, you know, I just, I've always felt just a team guy. Uh, mm -hmm. I just wanted to be a piece mm -hmm. of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. I wasn't a superstar, you know, I was mm -hmm. probably average, you know, just a guy that went out there, worked hard, and you know what, when his teammates, you know, needed them in certain situations, mm -hmm. I helped out, so that's the kind of player I was. You say average, but you made it to the NHL. You had a few stints with, uh, with the New York Rangers. You scored one NHL goal. Yeah. How vividly do you remember that moment? You know, it, uh, it was one of those that happened so fast. I do know, mm -hmm. I think it went off my, uh, you know, rear end and in the net and the other part in the other part that you know a lot of people don't know is against the former goaltender at Providence College and Chris mm -hmm. Terreri mm -hmm. so um, it was kind of unique in that fact mm -hmm. did you know at that point during your playing days when when you know you were playing in the NHL that you wanted to get into coaching when your playing opportunities you know evaporated you know my my college coach coach McShane mm -hmm. um, who's now coaching up at Norwich mm -hmm. and doing quite well it, it was uh, Rick, I want you to take you know a psychology class, and I want you to take public speaking, just mm -hmm. in fact for coaching. And mm -hmm. I kind of looked at him and said, "That's the last thing I want to get into is coaching. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to play." Yeah. So, little did he know. I guess he had a vision back then, and uh -huh. I, it took me about I don't know five, six, seven years of playing pro hockey to mm -hmm. realize that you know what, this is what I want to do. You get into coaching, and now you're to the point where you've seen some of your players go on and have. NHL experience and I, I think back to a game just a couple of weeks ago a preseason game where you had Matt Bodie with the Rangers you got Shane Gosses bear with the Flyers they're going head to head they each score a couple goals did you have a chance to watch that game yeah I did and it was uh, again just watching as a fan mm -hmm. I kind of watched the game as Matt Bodie and Shane Gosses bear never even like I never even had a chance to work with those guys. I was watching yeah. from a fan, fan's kind of point of view, and it was really exciting <laughs> to watch because it was a great game. <laughs> does it? Is it a great game? You're joining as a fan. What does it mean to you to know that you helped launch their c careers and, and help them get to where they are? You know, I, I guess. I guess it has to come from them if I have mm. actually helped them or not. But it was. I had so much fun working with those guys. Mm. And I always say working with those guys. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, because they had so much talent, and mm -hmm. I, I, I learned just as much from them mm -hmm. as they probably ever did from me. And it was really, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they text back to, you know, to this day, and, you know, I follow them, and it's, it's, it's really special. All right, Union is off to an undefeated start this season, a win and a draw. Coach, best of luck the rest of the season. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much.